Welcome back. Let's start 2021 the right way, the healthy way. Our next guest says we can do just that if we stick to a high, low, lean, no diet. With us now is our good friend, nutritionist and celebrity health coach, Karina Heinrich. Good morning, Karina. Good morning. Thanks for having me back. Thank you. Well, tell us, how do we do it? How do we not gain weight during the holidays? <laughs> Isn't this the, the question everyone has? I have three really easy tips that people can start implementing this morning. The first thing is you want to shed 500 calories per day from your diet. And I know that sounds a little overwhelming, but really it's small little habits that have a great impact. So smaller portions <clears throat> using a salad plate, fewer snacks. So a lot of that mindless eating that we do during the holidays, now is the time to really be mindful. And it's also the time to become a picky eater. And I know that sounds funny, but I want you to pick the desserts that you absolutely love and skip the rest, okay? So that's tip number one. Number two, you're gonna add in two days of cardio per week. And again, we are so busy, especially during the holidays and homeschooling kids and working from home, but this is as easy as a 30 minute walk or run even on your calls, <clears throat> Jump, jumping jacks, you don't have to have a gym in your house. And there's so many amazing streaming cardio classes that you can kind of tune into now at any time of the day. So tip number three is I want you to wake up 15 minutes earlier each morning. And I know it is the season for sleep deprivation, but this is you time. This is the time you're going to do deep breathing, set those morning intentions, yoga stretches, meditation, whatever works to kind of calm your body and set you on a good pace throughout the day. So those are three easy tips that anyone can do anywhere. I love that. I love the meditation, especially in the morning really sets the tone for the day. And I think what you were mentioning about the exercising and the no snacking, it's so easy to have excuses right now because we're at home, <clears throat> our pantry door is right there, we can't go to the gym. Is that what you're hearing from a lot of people? Absolutely, my clients are overwhelmed because they live in the kitchen. A lot of people are working out on their dining room table and their kitchen counters. But what I tell people is instead of looking at the whole month of December and putting those resolutions on the list, break your calendar down into five day increments. That makes it less overwhelming for people and actually schedule in your workout. I sit down on Sundays and I look at my week and I put it on there that, that way there's no excuses. You're gonna schedule in when you know you can go to bed early to get extra sleep and you're actually gonna schedule in when you can make a healthy home cooked meal versus a lot of the comfort food and ordering in that a lot of people are doing. So making these early <clears throat> commitments and starting that pace now, I yeah. think makes it a lot easier to reach your wellness goals in 2021. And let's talk about the diet. It's the high, low, lean, no diet. Yes, high, low, lean, no. So this is nutritional rules, lifestyles that can be implemented again right now because they're really simple. So I'm gonna teach you what it means. So high water, fiber, and clean carbs. So you're gonna think drinking lots of water throughout your day. When we were working and going out and about, we were used to carrying a water bottle with us and I find that people at home are not drinking as much water. So filling up those water bottles around your house is really important. Greens, veggies, two cups of berries every day, right there are your highs that should be the main part of your meal. Okay, and the low? You want to think healthy fats like extra virgin olive oil, avocado, unsalted seeds and nuts. These are your healthy fats. You want to get low amounts of those. And then lean protein. So these are kind of the stars of your meal. Think fish, chicken, egg whites, really easy things that are easily digestible. And then the nose, and I'm not the bearer of all bad news, no added salt or sugar. And we know that sugar is a big no-no. I still want you to enjoy your holiday treats. But salt is a major one too that people don't really think about. So I really yeah. urge my clients to put the salt shaker away and instead use spices and herbs that we know have medicinal value and that also are immunity boosters that we need a lot okay. more of right now. So things Perfect. like cinnamon and turmeric instead of the salt shaker. Gotcha. Well, to learn more about Karina, head to karinamethod.com.